Hi, my name is Jeff Carlton. My wife Jennifer and I co-founded Mountain West Hard Cider almost five years ago. We've gone on this incredible journey and now it's time to take it to the next level. We hope that you'll become an investor and help us grow this business into the next level. We came to this business uh, as a result of a business trip to Ireland. My wife Jennifer started drinking traditional European ciders in Europe and realized that they tasted significantly different than the national cider brands that you get here in the United States. If you think about the timing, it was probably almost seven years ago when we first started and some of the national brands had just started marketing on a very big scale. Cider was growing year over year, it was doubling and doubling and doubling again. And we felt there was a real opportunity to bring that kind of business, that kind of craft to Utah, which had limited exposure to craft ciders up to that point. Jen and I were both working in the financial services industry when we decided on this kooky idea to start a hard cider company here in Utah. We knew we needed some help, so we cast a wide net. We looked throughout the wine and cider industry to find some talent, someone that could take our vision and make it a reality. Um, we were fortunate enough to find Joel Goodwillie. Joel has over 30 years of experience in the wine and even the cider industry. He started in the business with Gallo. Uh, as a student, he traveled to Portugal and learned uh, European winemaking skills. At one point, he had his own cidery, and uh, we were able to convince him to come to Utah and to head uh, our cider operations and to craft these kind of wonderful ciders that have won awards at both national and international cider competitions. The market for our hard ciders is typically millennials. They like a lot of variety. They like to try things that are different, and we've seen increasing growth in that marketplace. One of the exciting things about ciders are the fact that they're gluten-free and a lot of folks have a gluten intolerance or they feel it's just a more healthful uh, beverage to, to imbibe. Uh, it's got great flavors, it's very natural being based on an apple, no artificial colors, flavorings or aromas and quite frankly that's been well received by the local community. We have an adjacent lot that we've set up and we call it the Garten. G-A-R-T-E-N, a European inspired beer garden. But we're cider, so we don't want to call it a beer garden. And we don't want to call it a cider garden because you can get so much more in that space. It's a full bar. Uh, we highlight a lot of uh, our local craft breweries. And it's a real destination place. For us though, it's been uh, a large festival tent that gets hot in the summer, a stage under a tent. And we think that by improving that location and the amenities out there, the garden as a destination with a brick and mortar restaurant, a place for folks to gather, to sample ciders, to sample a cuisine that's inspired by ciders, to enjoy some live music. We think that that's a real opportunity to increase revenue significantly uh, within our boundary here in, here in the state of Utah. We've got a scalable operation, so for limited additional funds, we can grow significantly. But with those additional funds, we have an opportunity to add distributors outside the state. We've also got an opportunity to expand our local presence with a hard brick and mortar restaurant and an experience that folks can enjoy cider inspired food um, and, a, and an atmosphere that's uh, fun, entertaining, live music, a real destination place. We have spent some time and effort in Wyoming and have seen significant growth there. We're in discussions with distributors in Idaho and some of the other contiguous states, and we see a real demand uh, in a region, quite frankly, that doesn't have a lot of exposure to craft European style ciders. So if what we've talked about today makes sense to you, if it's of interest to you, if you want to invest in a fast growing craft cider manufacturer, we'd love your help. We'd love for you to go to our Start Engine page and pledge whatever you can. We'll do our best to make sure it's a good investment for you, but you can help us, and we certainly appreciate that. From Jen and I, um, it's the most we could ask for. Thank you very much.